welcome to Land Dexia. What I have today is a candy that looks very interesting and unique. Almost strange like candy. And the company that makes this candy is called Warheads. This candy looks a little bit interesting and strange because it comes in a form of a rope. Let me show you the package. When I first saw this package and I saw the three colorful ropes in three different colors and three different fruit flavors, I thought to myself, wow, that's kind of interesting. I never seen a candy that's shaped like a rope before. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect when I'm about to taste this candy. Inside of this package, it's showing there are a total of eight, eight ropes. The packaging is very alluring and very tasty looking because it adds so many different colors, fruit colors in the front package. I just had to try and buy this package and try it out because I've never had anything like this before. So I'm kind of excited, but at the same time, a little bit worried and nervous. It might, this might not taste well because it looked a little bit out of the ordinary, let's say that. <laughs> this is not the kind of candy or the shape that I usually eat in a candy form, you know what I mean? <laughs> But the, but the two words that also got me thinking and very mysterious is the words ooze and chews. I don't know what that even means, ooze and chews. My guess is the word ooze and chews is something that's inside of each rope. And it, it always says right here, sour, chewy candy filled with ooze. Okay. So the white, the white substance, the white material inside of each rope, they call it ooze. If you look at the top of the rope, it's filled with some kind of white filling. find out what that white filling tastes like in a little bit but let me tell you the three fruit flavors the first fruit flavor is watermelon the second fruit flavor is blue raspberry flavor is green apple. I've had several candies from this company called Warheads and they make pretty tasty and delicious candies. So I'm thinking that this is going to taste good too, but you never know. This might surprise me because it comes in a form of a rope. In the back of the package, 
touching just a, a few senses can I describe this rope candy is is what it's saying it says just what you expect from warheads sour chewy candy that oozes a del delectable feelings and that's all that it says right there let's go ahead and open up this very mysterious candy in this bag okay let's open it up so far it's kind of interesting it's almost kind of like playful kind of like a playful candy I like that okay the next fruit flavor is blue raspberry
So there you have it, the three ropes with three different fruit flavors. We got the watermelon, which is the red, blue raspberry, the blue color, and green apple. Interesting, very interesting. Look at that. So inside of the rope, you get that. Look at that. Now, I want to taste the white ooze by itself. Let me see if I can peel some off here. Breaks apart 
it kind of melts in your mouth. But at the same time, a little bit of that creaminess texture as well. But the flavor, it tastes very uh, almost apple fruity kind of a type. It's got the sourness and it's got the sugarness. And the sourness level is in the medium between low, medium and extreme. So it's not extremely sour from the white ooze. And the sugar level is about medium as well. So the sourness level and the sugar level is about the same. It tastes quite it tastes quite good. I like I like it so far. Now let me taste the outside outside of the shell, the rope shell here and see if that's sugar coated or is it sour coated I don't know let's taste this okay the outside is sugar coated so it's not uh, some sort of a sour powder coating to make it extra sour it's just sugar Let's go ahead and taste this. shell which is the green part of the candy it's got a very interesting texture the texture is almost like a little bit of a, on a harder side of a gummy candy it's chewy but it's definitely not creamy it's got a little bit of a harder texture than most gummy bears out there and the flavor itself it does have the apple that apple flavor of a real apple, it tastes very close to the real fruit of an apple. And it's also got some sweetness to the shell as well. But not too sweet. Because on the outside, it is sugar coated, so the sugar is coming from the sugar is coming from the outside of the rope. Like kind of balance out between the sugar level, the sour level, and the fruit level, all three flavors whew, collide together. It is quite tasty. I actually like it. It's pretty, it's interesting with the ooze inside. That kind of, that kind of spark in your mouth of, of that sourness ooze and a little bit of that gummy texture and all at the same time it's actually quite delicious i like it let's try the next flavor let's try the watermelon <laughs> this time i'm gonna try the whole candy without Breaking it into little pieces, so here we go.
this candy that comes in a rope form. It's actually pretty fascinating. I like the fact that this candy takes shape of something different than we usually see in the market. It's almost kind of like daring, like a daring product. But each rope is very, very tasty and very flavorful. It's quite fascinating, this candy right here from Warheads. Let's try the next flavor. Blue raspberry. Just look at that, isn't that strange? It's almost kind of like, not just a rope, but it's almost kind of remind me of um, a gummy worm, kind of a type where the worm is long. I kind of reminisce of a worm form. You stretch it out you can you can do a better rope so stretch it out as much as you can and you can get into a rope <sighs> okay let's try this let's have a taste of the blue raspberry Does have a, a flavor, a blue raspberry. I can taste it. sugar coated outside of the of the rope blends in with the sourness it is quite marvelous it's very luscious actually and after I take a after I finish each flavor I do feel I'm satisfied the candy the candy kind of make me feel like I'm happy. I'm happy that it tastes good. I like the fact that the, the texture is kind of gooey, but but also at the same time, kind of luscious of the cream ooze inside of the, of the rope. It's quite a bit. Fantastic candy, I really like it. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna try all three flavors in my mouth and see how they taste. But so far, out of the three flavors, which one do I like the best? To be honest with you, I like them, I like them all. All three flavors really good. But if I had to pick one, pick one flavor that I really like, I'm probably gonna go with the blue raspberry. That's a, the flavor of the of the blue raspberry. It's a little bit on the stronger side of the fruit. The fruit flavor kind of 
kind of burst in your mouth and that your taste bud can, can really wake up a little bit more than these other two flavors. Just a little bit more, but not much. But the apple and the watermelon, they're both are fantastic too. I just like this maybe a tad bit more. The blue raspberry. Let's go ahead and cut three pieces, which is three fruit flavors in my mouth and see how they blend together. I don't know if the three fruit flavors in my mouth with the ooze and the sugar coated is gonna taste good or not in my mouth. I don't know, I wanna find out. And besides, I love to experiment with different fruit flavor candies. I love it. in my mouth the three fruit flavors the white ooze the sugar coating on the outside it is just marvelous in here it's just mesmerizing all those flavor just burst in your mouth when you start biting it too in each rope and the ooze, the white ooze coming out. sticky in your mouth but it is well worth it of the stickiness because it is pretty pretty tasty that was a pretty fascinating experience putting three flavors with all that ooze more more ooze in my mouth the, the white ooze wow so when I when I put all three different fruit flavors Something happens in my mouth. I get, I get the stronger fruit flavors in my mouth. So the level kind of rises up with, as far as flavor it goes. It goes up quite a few notches. The sourness level, the sourness level, 
kicks up quite a few notches as well. And as far as the sugar level, same thing, more sweetness into my mouth because I got three different fruit flavors. So the sugar level goes up a little bit when you put more in your mouth. But I can definitely taste the sourness. The sourness. The sourness kicks in quite a bit. But not so sour that I had to spit it back out. That I, I just couldn't handle the sourness. It was just fine. It was quite a fascinating experience. Next thing I want to do. I want to play around with maybe switching do some combo maybe two combos before I let you go maybe try like let's do this here we cut this we cut this in half Terrific combo. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. Raspberry combination was quite delicious. I feel like I'm drinking some sort of a fruit flavor drink at a restaurant. That's so delicious with ice in it, nice and cold drink. Watermelon and raspberry, blue raspberry fruit drink with ice that's what i feel like i'm i have in my mouth except it's not in liquid form and of course there's no ice but in a more of a solid form like a chewy form it just tastes so good i just want like it's kind of like i just want to drink it but of course you can't drink it you have to chew it but it's so but that's what it feels like I feel like I'm eating a fruit drink, if that makes any sense to you. You know what I mean? Like, you're not drinking it. You know, like, the, like this. You're not drinking it, but you're kind of, you're kind of chewing the fruit drink. <laughs> That's the best I can describe to you. <laughs> it's very good. Let's try the green apple. My last combo before I let you go. Let's try the blue raspberry and the green apple together. Let's see how this will taste.
right, dude. That's just wow.
I start out with the sugar level between low, medium, and extreme sugar level. I'm gonna rate each candy rope probably between medium and extreme because it's got sugar coated and there's a lot of sugar. <laughs> so if you if you don't like sugar, a lot of sweet, you probably won't like this. Look at that. That's, that's a lot of sugar. And also the sugar comes from the ooze as well. So there's sugar on the outside of the candy. There's also sugar from the white ooze. And there's also some sugar on the rope itself. The outer shell of the candy. So the amount of sugar into each rope is going to be between medium and extreme, but not real sweet that I have to spit it out. I don't like way too sweet candies. As far as the sour level, between low, medium, and extreme, each rope, the sour level, I'm going to rate it between medium and low, somewhere around there. It's not real sour that you, that you can't handle it. It's probably in the medium. I'm going to say in the medium sourness level. But the apple, the apple flavor rope right here is going to have a little of an edge of a, a, a few notches sour level up than these two fruit flavors. Just to let you know that. As far as the fun level from low, medium to extreme, I'm gonna rate the fun level between medium and extreme. It was quite fun. It's stretchy. It's very interesting. I mean, it's stretchy and you can tie into a knot. Uh, oh no, oh no, what else you can do with that? You can twist, twist different. You can do something like this. You can take two of these and just twist them. Look at that, say you just twist them. Even take three. Heck, can you? I don't know. Let's try. Can you twist three colors? I don't know. Let's try that. That might be a little bit too much, but here we go. Let's see. Okay, so you got three ropes, right? Let's twist three ropes together. I don't know if I can do it. Let's see here.
But for now, I just want to say have a great day out there. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>